everybody, this is Fragger and Jack, and we're taking a look at Skyrim. Scrim. Yes, Scrim. Is that all right? Scrim. Those were the bad guys in the third Command and Conquer, right? Scrim sounds like like a like a uh, something in uh, the Labyrinth, <laughs> like with Jennifer Connelly and the the Goblin King. Like you must fight the Scrim. Um. Yeah, you're you're right, but th that's kind of sad. Though the first thing I went to was the aliens that invaded in the third Command and Conquer. Yeah, that is kind of kind of kind of sad. Yeah. A little but bit. I think they actually are called the Scrim. <laughs> nice. But uh, that's not what we're talking about. No, we're not. We're talking about the brand new game that just came out today, mm -hmm. right? Eleven, eleven, eleven. Yes, it did. That is today's date. Thank God this game finally came out because I think in the last three weeks there's been at least seven people in every single comment section saying Skyrim. <laughs> so you think they're gonna be happy with this now? <laughs> they're, they're probably gonna still be saying Skyrim. Oh, okay. Like, Skyrim, yay! But yes, finally this game is out, and I know a lot of people have been anticipating it. What about you? I, I you know what? I've never really been big into the Elder Scrolls games. I know this game is supposed to be amazing, and I might try to check it out. But I mean, there's there's such a, just a backload of games mm -hmm. on my on my schedule right now that it's kind of tough and. I know a game like this, you're going to have to dedicate, what, like 300 hours to? So it's kind of like, yeah. I don't want to, you know, mess around for four hours and then get stuck on something else. So I'm like, I kind of, I almost want to wait to play this one until I have like a good, like a few weeks that I can dedicate to yeah, it. Yeah, so, I know exactly what tricky. you mean. I, I've actually tried to play like pretty much every single game from the first one yeah. on. And uh, they never really gelled with me. This one did, like right off the bat. Really? Mm-hmm. It's like yeah, it remember, starts off with an amazing set piece and just keeps steamrolling from there. That's great. I remember the last one started with, I uh, uh, almost said Neil Patrick Harris, with uh, with uh, Jean-Luc Picard, yeah. with, uh, what's his name, uh, Patrick Stewart. Yes. So, but uh, is Patrick Stewart in this one? No, he is not in this one. But there is a giant angry dragon burning down villages. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. So it's kind of comparable. Okay. Pr practically the same thing. This also, uh, so moving from that, because we probably, we don't want to talk too much about the storyline, because that's why you play this game. Precisely. It, yes. So uh, let's just say things happen. I play for the competitive multiplayer. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah. I need to level that, up my sword. Exactly. But so instead of doing that, we'll just say it's pretty, it's big, it's got a lot of shit to do in it. How, how many hours do you think this game will take you to get a thousand points? From what I've been reading, two to three hundred hours. Jesus. And it's because of one achievement, really, and that's to get to level 50. Wow, okay. Uh, but the reason why it takes so long is how it's set up with experience. Yeah. Now, the way you gain experience is you don't get it from, like, stabbing a guy and, like, completing a quest. The way you earn experience is by, like, um, doing, like, an, like a, an action, like sneaking. You get experience points for sneaking up behind somebody. You get experience from, like, healing yourself with your healing power or using your destructive magic. Okay. Doesn't have to be like killing somebody. Hmm. But interesting. The way that it can kind of screw you when you get to level fifty is there may be a cap on how much you can do that. Oh, like for each kind, there's a cap or whatever. It could be. I I don't know. There's just so much shit to do in this game. So who knows? Yeah. But that's what people are saying is that it's gonna take a very long time to get to fifty. Okay. So there you go. All right. Mm. Well, how about some achievements? That is an achievement. That's uh, master. Reach level fifty. Oh well, there you go. Okay, I'll be damned. How about another achievement? Yes, another one. Uh, first one, I had to pick this one. It's called Diplomatic Immunity. Diplomatic Immunity. It's been revoked. <laughs> then, then I remember he shoots, like, the paper. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I, lo I love Lethal Weapon. Come yeah, man. Please. Murtaugh and Riggs? Mm-hmm. I was, I was more of a Murtaugh guy. Oh, you were? I know every, everyone loves Riggs, but, man, Murtaugh's, the, he's the shit. Yeah, I can definitely see that. And that's one of those weird movies that takes, the first one takes place in that nether realm between Christmas and New Year's. Yeah. It's like it happens right after Die Hard. <laughs> that's true. You know, I was just in Los Angeles, and uh, the uh, the Fox building is actually the, the what, Nakatomi Tower, is yeah. that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, like, every time you're in Beverly Hills, like, oh, there's the tower. Oh, cool. it's on fire again. Up oh, and someone's jumping off. Oh, crap. <laughs> Again, it's the third time this week. <laughs> yeah. Another referential achievement is uh, taking care of business. Every day. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's to join the Thieves Guild. Okay. Well, that's easy. That's a lot of these it's... achievements in this game. It kind of has the whole Bethesda-type list, yeah. which is, you know, do all of these quests, and then, like, you get to this level, and then do some small other things that are, like, or no grindy achievements. Usually a grindy achievement or two in there. Oh, but no, they're all, they they always have that list. Yeah. So the the joining the thieves guild is like there's some paperwork you have to fill out and you know get your 401k started and all mm -hmm. that, and then get your card, right? Do some pickpocketing. 
Yeah, 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 I think you may have to pickpocket your card from somebody else. There you go. But uh, moving on, there's a few of them that are like this, that have you do three actions. Okay. Like this first one is uh, Snake Tongue, successfully persuade, bribe, and intimidate. Ooh. And then there's a Hard Worker, which is to chop wood, mine ore, and cook food. Nice. So, you know, normal stuff. That sounds like the Minecraft achievement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. It's like all of a sudden you grab it and it's got like a pixelated pickaxe. Like, how'd this get here? <laughs> Yeah, let's see what the tile looks like. <laughs> uh, that's silly. And uh, I'm, I'm sighing because I, I know the next three achievements are going to be the bane of my existence. Yeah. <sighs> Hi, collectibles. How are you? <laughs> it's a good thing this map's not enormous or anything like that, right? Uh, and, and in 3D. Yeah, easy. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, so first off, we have uh, Standing Stones, which is to find 13 standing stones okay i have no idea what those are but they exist i guess the, well they're standing obviously mm -hmm. well then what other stones are there laying probably sitting Crap. stones i just i just backed myself into a corner with that one didn't i there you go <sighs> Shit. but uh past that we have oblivion walker which is to find mm -hmm. uh 15 uh daedric artifacts i think that's how you say that daedric daedric and uh, that's a, i would assume that's an oblivion reference because the icon for the achievement is the oblivion logo that sounds right. Yeah, sounds about right. You know, with Oblivion in the name and all, you know, stuff like that. And okay. then um, I'm not even going to try this one. Uh, I, no, I, I like how I said I'm not going to try it, and then I was about to try it. Yeah. Um, Thunum Master. Thuum Master. Yeah, something like that, whatever. Which is to learn 20 shouts. Now, um, you may remember from the first trailer, they had, they had the guy shouting, like, blah. Yeah. It's magic. Ah. They're uh, um, learning a shout. Brah. Brah. That's that's how you do it. You just, you just yell Brah. you yell into your connect, which is like a connect achievement. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, Don't give me that idea. No, no, they, we've already had that with other stuff. Like in there Forza, I had one. Um, but the way the shouts work is there's three words you have to learn, uh -huh. and you have to find where the words are, and then you can do that shout. Oh, okay. So there are collectibles, pretty much. They're collectible magic. Okay, so that's cool. At least, at least, like you help yourself along the way so that's good yeah so there you go Shrug. sweet but that's this game in a nutshell is just a lot of shit to do the game yeah man <laughs> yeah man i know a lot of people have been very very excited for this one and i'm gonna try to check it out i don't know when i'll be able to because you know next week we've got you know, a halo ce anniversary and we've got assassin's creed and need for speed we've got so many games Saints coming out man and I, you know what? Honestly, I haven't even put Modern Warfare three into my Xbox yet. That's how busy I've been. So yeah, I'm the same way. I haven't even played Battlefield yet. Oh, it's so sad. There's so many games. I mean, it's it's, it's a good problem to have. We have so many. We're surrounded by so many fantastic games. Oh but, man, there's just so many games to play. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I know. I just, I wish there were more of me to play these things. Yeah, I I want to try to play this one at some point though. Yeah, I'd recommend it. I'm actually really enjoying it, and I hope you're all enjoying it too. All right. Well, good luck out there.